Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The hunt provided not only according to Luo oral tradition, a body here is Nyanza in four major waves, and they first settled at what is now called Gat Ramoji, Ramoji Hills in Yimbo. They later crossed in present day South Nanza and eventually into North Mara region, Tanzania. The four waves include the Jo, Kadi Jo, Komola and Jo, Kowango, Luo Abasuba with the first wave arriving sometime around Ed from the Wu clan to Oklygration to Internyanza, the Johanza, the Jojojian, of the Jock. That is, the migration from Allur and migrated to the western region where they established the Tariki ethnic group then to Madongo in Wanga, before entering Saia. The other Luas also referred to them as Jokasuba because they migrated together with the Durango people. The term Luo, a basuba, was later coined by Pai into this group of the Jokasuba. Sakwa is the prominent clan in the Jo, Congo sub, Kamwenya. Wuganjo, Wami, Kanyamwanda, Keller Kamajeda, Kamiawa, Kamneria. These people intermarry among themselves, a clear indication that the broad clan of Sakwa is made up of descendants who cannot trace their lineage to a single ancestor. The Garango, the Bajarango was a Bantu ethnic group with their own language. They were assimilated by it to maintain some of the Bantu and often used Subo and often used group. The Suba or Durango people are not to be confused by the Homa Bay Lua Basuba or Abasuba community who are Bantu of different ethnic backgrounds that reside within the borders of Suba Sub County. Moreover, their language, Ekisuba, Ikingo was also distinct and very different from the Ilusuba. Luganda, which spoken by the Lua Basuba, particularly the Abakante of the Durango clans migrated then the Durango class saw the Hulusa, saw the Alongside the Jo, Kowango, the fourth phase of the Lu migration into Nyanza. The Council of Elders provided guidance to the Supreme Chief, known as Ruith. The Council of Elders provided guidance to the Supreme Chief, adorned in special regalia symbolizing their status. Initiation rites, such as the removal of six front teeth, not only tested courage but also held cultural significance. The Lai to Demo, and Gilo marked a turning point. As the Lu separated into distinct sub groups, they embarked on diverse paths, intermingling with other communities and assimilating cultural nuances. The southern Luo, residing in Kenya and Tanzania, 
traced their roots to fishing, agriculture, and herding communities in western Kenya. The Durango Luas established itself in western Kenya before migrating some Bantu traditions. The Jal Kondo Tisaya. The diversity within those sections, such as the Sarati Luas and Imbo Luas, highlights the complexity of their historical narrative. Kizarulos, originally a Bantu ethnic group, found common ground with the Lua through intermarriage and cultural exchange. Despite linguistic similarities with the Guzi people, the Kizaru retained aspects of their distinct identity, illustrate dynamics of where their position as a politified their side nation. Interplay between Luo migrants and indigenous populations, marked by both peaceful coexistence and eventual tensions, shape the ownership of vast territories around Lake Victoria. The Luo settlement on the northeastern shores of Lake Victoria, specifically in Nyanza and North Mara regions, was not a conquest, but a gradual integration. The integration, though not without friction, reflects to new communities an eventual heritage in spiritual traditions. Resilience. From initiation rights to leadership structures, from fishing practices to musical traditions, the Lewis story is one of complexity and diversity. As the National Museums of Kenya extend an invitation to celebrate this heritage, it is an opportunity for all to delve into the nuanced layers of Lu culture, offering a glimpse into Kenya's vibrant mosaic of traditions. They came from Bando people behind in Western, for instance, for instance, from and the Suba of Tariki, as well as the Mungo in Banyar. The Luo community's journey through history is marked by a tapestry woven with migration, cultural assimilation, and resilience. Their initiation rites such as the removal of six front teeth, served as not only a test of courage, but also a profound cultural expression, creating a unique identity within the broader Kenyan landscape. Plang's version of the Lu, triggered by internal conflicts at Zik City, among Naikangdo, Demo, and Yilo, unfolded a chapter of separation and assimilation. As the various sub-groups charted their paths, intermingling with other communities and absorbing diverse cultural elements, the Lu narrative became a mosaic of traditions. The Southern Luo, with roots in fishing, agriculture, and herding communities, established a distinct historical identity, Remoja traditions, while retaining elements of its subalature. A literature, multifaceted Lu story. The Joe, the Joe, Ruango sub, group emerging from interactions Zaya, embodying the complex dynamics of Lu migration. The Kizuru Luos, originally a Bantu ethnic group with linguistic similarities to the Gizi people, found common ground with the Lu through intermarriage and cultural exchange. Despite retaining elements of their identity, the Kizuru to the Abaluya Committee the Sabayo Yeti Luas, 
Originally a minority Bantu. Further enrich the diverse Lu narrative. The Lu's political unity and cultural bloc in Kenya, despite historical encounters with indigenous populations, distinguish them as a politico cultural bloc in Kenya. Their settlement on the northeastern shores of Lake Victoria, while not a conquest, reflects a gradual integration to Kanyazal to explore the intricate layers of Lu culture. A cultural mosaic. The Lu history, a testament to resilience and adaptation, unfolds in several